Hello and welcome back to that Dubai Hills podcast. Sorry we've been offline for a couple of months. We've been moving into the new office, so we're back and we're in Dubai Hills. I'm here with George and Nathan. What's going on at the moment in Dubai Hills Estate? I think first things first is we're in a new office, right? Yeah, Seven, yeah, yeah. 7,000 square foot, fully kitted out. Yeah. In my opinion, in many people's opinions, probably the best real estate office in Dubai. Yeah, we are the number one agency in Dubai Hills. We are your brokerage. Anything you need, come to us. What else is going on? And um, what else is going on? So in terms of new businesses opening in the community, we've got... I went for a tour at Blossoms Nursery. They're opening a new branch, which is actually in Park Heights. So it's just underneath this office. Sure. So just on the Boulevard, Park Heights. It'll be open in September. Essentially, they're not opening for summer camp. And it's everything that Blossoms is about. I'm going to be putting Nori into the nursery. And um, I think they're giving everybody three days to start with. Prices are ranging between ten and 15,000 dirham, depending on what times and stuff. But yeah, really nice state of the art. Um, Caribou Coffee opening on the golf course side of Dubai Hills. So it's going to be underneath golf streets. Yeah. I think that's probably a good addition to the community for, yeah. especially for those guys at that side, because other than the clubhouse, what have they got? No, yeah. yeah. So now there's going to be a coffee shop there. Reef Kushiaki's just opened, business lunch, 89 dirham. Yeah. Very good value for Licensed them. restaurants as well, which is yeah, good. Yeah. Couple of others, bits and bobs open in the I business actually met bar. Reef when we went in. Yeah, no, yeah. Any, I know he said he was to, oh, he's opening another one, isn't he? Can't yeah, remember the next name door, now. but one, next isn't door, it? Yeah, yeah, Korean yeah. barbecue style. Yeah, Tap House seems to be doing well. Live music on all of the time. Plenty of offers for residents and ladies' nights and things like that. Yeah, but I think other than other than that, that's pretty Gap, much it. I know Gap, Gap has opened in the mall. Gap? Like Gap, yeah. I What's never Gap? really go in the mall that much, mate. What's Gap? Gap, the clothes store. Gap? Yes. Is that still going? Yeah. It's in the mall. I had a Gap hoodie when I was like 12. Grey one. I'll we'll get another one. <laughs> I, I didn't even know he was in this one. Where have you been for the last 20 minutes? Oh. Um, Come on, George. You give us a bit of property there. What's going on, property wise? Um, Sidra wise, it's good. It's busy at the moment. A lot of buyers in the market at the moment. Some good yeah. transactions there. It's just Finding it difficult to pick up properties? Yeah, or? Stocks, stock's very difficult, to be honest. Yeah, when um, you do, you've got a buyer for it. Yeah, but that's the thing when we do have a buyer, when we do have like a good property that comes up, we've yeah. got a buyer for it there, ready to go, which is which is a good uh, foot to be on. But like you said, it's just hard to find that that decent stock and motivated sellers as well selling at like a reasonable price. You just need people who are selling for an actual reason, yeah. as opposed to people who are selling. If I get this, I'll sell it. No, well, exactly. You know, of course you will. You yeah, know. I mean, sure, Nathan's experience as well coming over to do villas a bit more, but. Just finding these sellers asking for like four bed maples for like five mils and stuff like hmm. that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so. Yeah. But you know, you're gonna get that anyway. Maybe aren't next you? year. Maybe next year, yeah, <laughs> maybe next year, definitely. But um, no, apart from that, it's been decent. We had a good few months, had a good few transactions, yeah. especially this quarter. Um, but yeah, it's decent. I know there's been a few launches of projects in Dubai Hills and they've went really, really well, haven't they? Yeah. Um, pretty much selling out in an instant. Some of the, the less favorable units have hung around on the market a little bit, haven't they? It's not like a complete sellout every time. Yeah. Um, there's a new development coming up, a Swiss brand over on the golf course community side. I don't know any other details, but if you are interested, then please do register your interest. Yeah. Where would that be? I can't think of where it would be. It what must be available? near to like Ellington House. Where Ellington is by the main gate. While yeah. we're on the subject of Ellington House, we should probably talk about full penthouse level exclusive. Yeah, we've got properties under the market value at the moment. The developer is selling around 2,400, 2,450 dirham per square foot. Yep. And we've got penthouses. So extra uh, high ceilings, unique terraces, all overlooking the golf course on the top floor. Yeah. And one bedrooms, two plus maids, and three bedrooms. Probably yeah, the only two pretty plus good maids units. in the market. Yeah, some really good units. And I think as well, like just to summarize what you said, the units which Ellington are actually selling now at twenty four fifty a foot are like second, third floor True, units, yeah. standard yeah, units. Yeah, yeah. The view probably. So if you're looking the for a deal in the market at the moment, come to us. We've got a, a. You can either take the bulk, or you can take individual apartments. Essentially, the client bought them twelve months ago, and they are now looking to to sell them on for a, for a small profit. So yeah, get in touch. All with available as well with the payment plan. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is good. So full cash isn't required. Uh, current client, current owner has paid around thirty percent, thirty five percent maybe. Yeah. So not that much cash is required to to take the unit. 
Um, arguably the better Ellington House as it's Ellington House 1. Yeah, the views. It will hand over sooner. Yeah, the location is better. The views are better. The unit sizes are better. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's a good opportunity for people to get into the market. Yeah, nice. So there's obviously plenty going on in Dubai Hills at the moment. I'm assuming there's going to be some more project launches coming up. But apart from that, let's keep it nice and short and sweet on the podcast this week. And anything else to add? Oh, that's it, really. Yeah. Anything? If you're a buyer or a seller in the market. Come and visit us, though. We're in Dubai yeah, Hills. Yeah, the amount of clients that we've had coming through yeah, these yeah. doors, it's actually really, really good. You go into the... We've got a, a full coffee shop, and you go out there, and there must be five or six brokers sat with clients all of the time. It's a, Obviously, we want to show it off, but we do really good coffee as well. Even if you just want to pop in and have a chat, be my guest. Yeah, I think as well, one last point is we're going to do an event in the office. Yeah, networking events. Yeah, we're going to so, invite some working professionals across Dubai from lawyers, doctors, yeah. you name it. We'll, we'll have entertainment them. on, we'll have refreshments on, we'll have a speaker on and things like that. So if you're wanting to come, please register your interest because that will be happening. First one's going to be July. We're going to have one every quarter after July so that'll be the Q3 and then we'll do on Q4 maybe like a you know a cheese night let's say yeah and then before we go do you want to touch oh, on your open, open house? house yeah so we've got a obviously the open house that we've got on 10th of June um five bed upgraded to E5 Sidra 2 um landscape garden pool extended upgraded kitchen upgraded floor and I would personally say one of the best upgraded units that you'll find in Sidra at yeah. the moment and it's reasonably priced it's and market price. price it's I, yeah market price at the moment yeah I would say it's a good price obviously again motivated seller someone that actually wants to sell yeah um, and we just thought obviously be a better idea to get an open house rather than do we, the log viewing here and there we always talk about motivated sellers and it's all you know when you're going to try and find a property it can be really difficult to find a seller who actually wants to sell you get agents obviously telling you you know this one's for sale that one's for sale but from our point of view we don't waste our time with stuff no. like that do we we like to get a handful of units get our teeth stuck into them and get them sold and when we talk about a motivated seller they're actually selling for a reason as opposed to just money alone so this particular seller for example he's bought a, a new property in Alberari, a much bigger property we've already sold two of his properties and this is the third one to go so he's a motivated seller he's got a reason to sell and i think that's important when you're looking for a for a property in the markets when it's going up but yeah, that's it from us. Yeah, Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll be here next month. Please come, at, come along and attend the networking event. Hope to see you all there. Thank you.